Because when, when my oldest boy was about five years old, we took a trip up to New York, and I drove into my old neighborhood in Brooklyn. You know, I grew up in a broken, dirty, rat-infested, ramshackle little apartment, and I parked the car, and I had him take a look around. He, he looked around, and he said, wow, Poppy, this is where you grew up. I said, yeah. My parents came from Puerto Rico, um, came to New York City in the 1950s. Um, they divorced when I was two years old. Uh, my mother never learned to read or write, so she didn't have any real skills to, to fall back on. So she ended up on the welfare system, and that's how I, I grew up. President Obama is stripping the work requirement out of welfare. I think the problem with that is there's been so many success stories since the welfare reform of the 90s, where families that might otherwise have stayed stuck in that cycle of dependency that they actually saw a light at the end of the tunnel. They saw a different possibility. Taking it away brings us back to that situation. The unintended consequences of a well-meaning program of the 1960s was that families ended up getting stuck in that cycle of dependency. And we just celebrated our anniversary uh, uh, recently. We've got great, two great boys. I've been able to create a successful business. I've been an executive and uh, I've been able to have an impact in my community locally. Only in America can that happen, in one generation. And who knows what my children or their children will be able to achieve. And I know that if you're born in the favelas outside of Rio, or the shanty towns outside of Caracas, if that's where you're born, typically that's where you stay. There isn't a whole lot of hope and opportunity to be able to get out of that environment. Here, the outcome may not be guaranteed, but the opportunity is.